like this place. I don't think we're supposed to like it. No, I mean there's something in the air. It's something evil. I feel it. Okay, well then maybe we should reconsider just walking in blind. Ah, the vine touched me. They're not going to attack us. How do you know? Because we were invited. Look, over there in the center. What is that? It looks like a tree that's trying to devour itself. It's two trees, but they've twisted around each other. It looks painful. It is painful. Uh, who said that? Oh, dear. Not very bright, are they? I demand you show yourselves right now. Now you be careful with that tone, Rupert. That's no way to talk to your father. Forgive me if I don't embrace you, son. As you can see, I'm a bit uh, stiff. Wait, is that really you? So, that's your little brat, huh? Rather puny by princely standards. What would you know about the princely standards? Don't get impudent with me, Amir. You may be grown, but I'm still your father. And your king. You're not my father. As far as I'm concerned, my father died the day he chose greed and power over the lives of his own people. Oh. I say he's fiery, isn't he? Takes after his old man. That's a lie. I'm nothing like you. No, you have your mother's unfortunate sense of morality. Yes, it's clear Lavinia's been spoiling Rupert too. She's always been a great indulger. By the way, son, sorry we had to spook your horse and keep you wandering in circles for so long. We needed to buy some time until your rival made his way to the forest. Yes, the prophecy was quite specific about these boys being 18 before you prove your valor. And how exactly are we supposed to do that? Oh, don't play coy with me. You know exactly what you have to do. It's why you came. To fulfill the forest's prophecy. And once one of you defeats the other in glorious combat, our endless wait will finally be over. The forest will relent. And will be free. Free to rule on high. Master of all the land. Well, one of us, that is. Wait. One of you will be king? Of course. You didn't think we'd disappear with the forest, did you? I thought me or mother... <laughs> you or your mother? Rulers of all the land. No. Sorry for the surprise, but one of us is definitely coming back. And not a moment too soon. <laughs> <laughs> no! I beg your pardon? You can't come back. Either of you. You two are the whole reason our kingdoms have suffered for the last 18 years. You are terrible king. He's right. After all you've done, neither of you is fit to rule. Oh, save that righteous indignation for battle. You're going to need it. Speaking of, I suppose it's time we moved on to the main event. We've certainly waited long enough. No, wait. Hold on. Now, I see you both got swords. That's tremendous. That's very good. Now, you feel free to use Anything that you want. Rocks, sticks, teeth. Remember, this is, after all, mortal combat. If you're not aiming to kill, you're not playing to win. Now then, if there are no more questions, we'll wish you both the best of luck. And may the best prince win. On your mark. Get set. No! Oh, ah, what now? We're not going to fight each other, are we? No, we're not. Of course you are. That's the whole reason you're here. No. We're here because we thought we could help our kingdoms. But if ending the curse means putting either of you back on the throne, then you can both stay here and rot. Right? Right. Of all that cursed impudence, now you listen up, boy. You're gonna kill your little friend, and you're gonna like it. I didn't raise my son you to You didn't me. raise me at all. Mom did. How? Oh. Dare you speak to me like that? Rupert's right. Amir. This war of yours, this stupid battle between East and West, it's over. You both lost. Rupert, come on. Let's get out of here. We'll find some other way to save our kingdoms. Not so fast. This war ends when we see it ends. Amir, divine. I'm on it. Get these things off of me! I'm trying, there's too many of them! 
Did you really think you could just walk away and turn your backs on destiny? What are you gonna do? You can't kill us! Kill you? Who said anything about killing you? We have other ways of making you fight. And I believe they'll be arriving in five, four, three, two... Hop right there. Mother? Release my son immediately, you despicable tyrant. Mom, don't worry, darling. Mummy's here. Oh, uh, Lavinia, so good to see you after all these years. You're looking ravishing as ever. Everything that comes out of your mouth is nothing but villainy and lies. Except for that bit you just said about my looking ravishing. That's true. Focus, Lavinia. I'm sorry. I am here to save my son and put an end to this shameful legacy once and for all. You always were so forthright, my pet. It's one of the reasons I married you. And I married you because I was a stupid, starstruck girl who didn't know any better. Now release, Amir, or I'll show you what kind of woman that foolish girl has become. Well, she's a bit of a handful, isn't she? Tell me about it. She always had a flair for drama. Drama? Try being married to Lavinia. Excuse me? I'm not the one who plunged his kingdom into 18 years of deliberate chaos, all because of his great big bloody ego. Do you have any idea what it's been like for me cleaning up the mess you've made? No, of course not. You're a man. You only think about yourself. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of selfishness. I have people depending on me, and maybe my methods are dramatic, but they work. I've kept a kingdom that's been on the verge of collapse together for 18 years. I've kept my people safe and calm and reasonably contented. I've also raised my son to be good and kind and true so he'll never, never make the same mistake his father did. I did that, all of that, me, by myself. So instead of taking digs at me or threatening me or even worse, patronizing me, you should get on your bloody knees, or, or roots, or stumps, or whatever it is you have down there, and thank me. Thank me with every fiber of your being, you selfish, irresponsible, egotistical man. Thank you for what, precisely? For holding the world together when men like you do nothing but tear it apart. And now, gentlemen, since I trust we have your undivided attention, I think it's time we get down to business. And what business is that, my love? The business, love, of releasing our sons and putting an end to this ridiculous war once and for all. Bold demands. What happens if we refuse? Then I'll have no choice but to use this. This amulet contains enough Wolfsbane venom to decimate a hundred forests. Wolfsbane? Did she say Wolfsbane? What are we going to do? Oh. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Surrender. No one. Poison us with Wolfsbane? You can't. We're immune to the stuff. That's impossible. Really? Love, do keep up. We're magic. We thrive on the impossible. What are you doing? Get these things off of me. I demand you release me. How dare you lay a finger on me? Oh, struggle all you like, ladies. Let them go. Do you hear me? Let them go. I'm sorry, Rupert. Dad, stop it. You're killing her. Your mother made her choice. Now it's time to make yours. All you have to do is fulfill the prophecy. Now what say you boys? Have we got a deal? What's it going to be? Are you going to sit there, trembling like little girls? Or are you ready to act like men? Amir? 
We don't have a choice. We can't. We have to. Excellent, son. I knew deep down you had the soul of a killer. Oh, come on, Rupert. Don't let me down. Believe me, you won't like the consequences. Rupert! Don't! You mustn't! All right. I'll fight, I'll fight. Just stop hurting her. Excellent. That's the sort of determination I'd like to see now. Pick up your sword. Release our mothers. When the battle is over, you have my word. Now, pick up your swords. I'm sorry, Rupert. It's okay. Now then, any last word? Let's just get this over with. In that case, let the last battle begin! Oh, this is so exciting! I haven't felt this alive in years! I know. There's nothing like a little carnage to really get the sap flow. Got a boy, Rupert. Cut the little twab's head. You've got him, Amir! Don't let up! Go for the kill! Stop taking it easy on me. I'm not. I'm just getting warmed up. You stop taking it easy on me. I'm not. I'm just bad with a sword. Oh, this is terrible. I can't watch. I... I think I'm going to... <sighs> Lavinia. Wake up. This is no time to faint. Be careful, Rupert. You got you cornered. That's it, Amir. Now you've got him. Finish the job. <laughs> oh, dear. Your son seems to have lost his sword. Oh, do shut up. It isn't over yet. I'm sorry, Rupert. I'm so sorry. I know. It's okay. I understand. Don't just stand there like a lamb for the slaughter. Run! Throw sand in his face. Do something. You can go get your sword. We'll keep fighting. No. What's your son playing at? Is he giving up already? Get up, Rupert. Do you hear me? Get off your knees this instant and fight! What are you doing? If you surrender, I still have to kill you. I know. Then get up! No. No? We both know there's only one way this fight is going to end. After all, you've been training for this your entire life. Besides, I don't want to spend the last few minutes of my life fighting. Not with you. Rupert, please. If you don't get up, I'm going to have to kill you. I know. And that's okay. I know this is going to sound crazy, but these last couple days have been the best days of my entire life. And that's because I got to share them with you. You are my best friend, Amir. You mean more to me than any kingdom or prophecy. You mean more to me than my own life. So you are going to be the one who walks out of this forest. You are the one who's going to grow up and be a king someday, and that's okay because I know you are going to be a great king, greater than either of our fathers could ever be, because you're strong and you never give up, but you also listen to your heart. You act so tough, but I know deep down how much you care. Everything you do, you do because you care. And I am so glad I got to meet you. And if it's the last thing I ever get to say to you, I just want you to know I love you. You do? Yeah. I hope that's okay. Okay? Why didn't you say something sooner? Don't you know I love you too? Um... What's going on? Are they? Kissing? I don't know, maybe they're uh, lip wrestling. Lip wrestling? Do you honestly think that's a thing? Well, I, 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 I don't know what's going on. All I know, our sons are sucking face when they will be stabbing each other in the... What's that? What's happening? It's... It's the curse. It's... It's broken. It can't be. That isn't possible. It is. No, something's not right. Can't you feel it? The forest is fading. So are we! Amir, look, the vines, they're... they're retreating. Thank goodness I can breathe.
Jeez. Mother, are you all right? I'm fine. Mom, Mom, are you okay? Oh, Rupert! I must have dosed off for a second. What's going on? No, it's the forest. It's vanishing. Look, look at the trees. Everything is shaking apart or sinking back into the earth. No! It's unfair! We've been cheated! We were supposed to get our freedom! It's the forest! It's double-crossed us! Atosa, my love, help me! Do something! Oh, don't just stand there, Lavinia. We're sinking! They're gone. Good riddance. They were lousy kings and even lousier fathers. We better get out of here. This entire hollow is collapsing. Come on, this way. Back to the maze. Run! <gasps> is everyone... Is everyone okay? I have certainly had better days, but I'll live. Mom, here, let me, here, let me help you up. Where, where are we? I think we're exactly where we were. Well, that's impossible. We were I I in that awful forest, and now we're standing on the most beautiful hillside I've ever seen. The land's return to the way it was, before the curse. Ahoy there, your majesty! Look, there's Joan. Joan? The stable girl? What's she doing here? Making sure we all get home in one piece. That's what. Are you all right, Joan? All present and accounted for, Your Majesty. We gave this forest a run for its money. That you did, Joan. That you did. What about Porridge? He was part of the forest. I don't know. I don't see him. No. He wasn't evil. He was good. He was ours. I know. I'm sorry. I know how much you loved him. I loved him too, the little monster. He was definitely- Porridge? Has he been asleep in that bed of daisies this entire time? Who cares? He's alive! Porridge is alive! <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I'm still a little lightheaded from nearly being strangled to death, but can somebody please explain to me what just happened? Isn't it obvious? Our sons broke the curse. Well, yes, but how? Well, it's like the prophecy said. When two princes meet in the hollow, one kingdom will triumph and the curse will be broken. Everyone always assumed that meant picking up where our fathers left off, another fight to the death. One kingdom conquering the other, but that's not what the prophecy meant at all. The prophecy meant the curse would end when the fighting stopped, when the two kingdoms finally became one. And now they are. Or rather, they will be, just as soon as Rupert and I get married. Right? Right. Just as soon as we get married, there will just be one kingdom. Our kingdom. You and Amir married to each other? It's not a solution our fathers could ever have envisioned, but it's what the forest wanted. It's what it's always wanted. Not more war or bloodshed, but love. Mom, are you okay with love? Me? Okay? With, with you being a, I mean, that is to say a... <sighs> Ignore her. She'll get over it. They always do. You're not upset, are you? Upset? How could I be? My brave and wonderful son is safe and alive and happy. And this beautiful boy is the reason. Oh, she called me beautiful. I am proud of you, my son. Both of you. And I wish you all the happiness in the world. Thank you. Oh, Ruthie! Now, if you will excuse me for a moment, I'm afraid I have got a few hundred hearts to break. Of course. Oh. And if you're looking for a loyal knight to protect this bold new kingdom of yours, I have just the woman for the job. Thank you, Your Majesty. Should we check on your mother? 
I'm okay. Don't mind me. Do you want a hand, Mom? No, no. I'm fine. I'm just going to lie here for a bit. You boys just do your thing. Mommy's very proud of you, Rupert. Okay. Well, Amir and I will be right back. We're just we're just going to go for a stroll. Quite right. You do you. <laughs> Live your life. We should definitely consider living at your mother's castle after the wedding. Actually, I was thinking maybe we could build a new castle. Where? Here. Where the hollow used to be. Not a castle of the east or a castle of the west, but a castle in the heart of the country. The castle of the heartland. I like the sound of that. Me too. Besides, I think we're getting a little too old to live with our mothers. Definitely. Of course, you know, when you're my husband, you're seriously going to have to cut back on all the lying. What do you mean? I mean, I'm still a little annoyed that 90% of everything you've told me about yourself over the last three days is probably a complete fabrication. Oh, right. That. Well, tell you what, I'll stop lying if you stop bossing me around. Deal, if you stop overreacting to every little situation. Deal, if you stop micromanaging every little situation. I don't micromanage. You totally micromanage. Only because you overreact. Yeah, I do, and you know what? What? You love it. Hey, Rupert? Yes, Amir? Shut up and kiss me. Thought you'd never ask. 